So yesterday we looked at the equations in standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. What does c represent? The y-intercept. Today we're looking at, basically this disappears. It's in the form y equals ax squared just plus c. c is still the y-intercept, okay? c is always the y-intercept, and the a value still tells you if it opens up or down. So in example one, we have three equations there. I'm going to do the first one. The first equation is y equals negative 3x squared. So what's a? y equals ax squared plus c. What's a? Negative 3. So does this open up or down? Down. So does it have a max or min value? Okay. So now, in this equation, it's negative 3x squared, so I can technically write plus 0. There's nothing there. So what is the y-intercept? Zero. 0, right? Because it's plus nothing. If the y-intercept is 0, 0, where would the vertex be in this, in this example? It's in the form y equals just negative 3x squared. So where's the vertex? It's going to be at 0, 0. If the y-intercept is here at 0, 0, well, where does the x-intercept have to be? Also at 0, 0, right? Because the parabola looks like this. Negative, th oops, sorry, it opens down, my bad. Negative 3x squared. The vertex is at 0, 0, the y-intercept is at 0, 0, and the x-intercept is at 0, 0. Once we start adding or subtracting a value at the end, then the vertex is going to change. So just like I showed you, y equals x squared minus 9. What would that look like? Where is the vertex going to be? Where is the y-intercept going to be? What is the y-intercept? It's x squared plus c, ax squared plus c. Yes, it's going to be at negative 9. 0, negative 9. So where's the vertex then? Because it's in the form ax squared plus c, the vertex and the y-intercept will always be the same. Okay, so c will tell you the y-intercept, and in this case, it will tell you the vertex because we don't have a bx. It's not in standard form. This only works when it's not in standard form. It's in this form. Does it open up or down? Well, what's a? It's a positive, right? A is, is the number in front of x squared. There's no number there. It's positive. It's a 1. So does it open up or down? Up. Does it have a max or minimum value? Minimum. So it opens up. So it's going to look like this. Right? Where's the vertex? Same as the y-intercept, 0, negative 9, right? To find the x-intercepts, we have to factor it because we're trying to figure out what x is equal to. Look at the graph. It's going to have two x-intercepts. So this goes back to chapter 6 or 7. The equation is y equals x squared minus 9. How would I factor this? Is this the product sub method? Or is this a difference of squares? Remember difference of squares? Do you guys remember how to factor a difference of squares? So what are the two first terms? Square root of x squared is x. Square root of the last term is. And what times what gives me a negative? A positive times a negative. Do you remember this? Factoring a difference of squares? Well, then x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0, right? We're trying to find the x-intercepts. What are the two x-intercepts? If x plus 3 equals 0, what's the first x-intercept? Yeah. Negative 3. Does that make sense? It's right here. Then if x take away 3 equals 0, what is x equal to? What's the other x-intercept? Positive 3, right here. So the two x-intercepts are negative 3, 0, and positive 3, 0. 
Here's the equation, y equals negative 5x squared plus 20. We're looking to figure out if it has a max or min value. It's negative, so is it going to open up or down? Down, so it's going to have max or min? Max. It's in the form y equals ax squared plus c. So what does c tell us? The y-intercept and the vertex. Always. If it's in the form ax squared plus c, that's always the y-intercept and the vertex. So the y-intercept is 0, 20, and the vertex is 0, 20. Now we have to factor again to find the x-intercepts. I'm going to do that on the next page. I'm trying to figure out the x-intercepts, so I need to factor this. So this goes back to the last chapter. Do these two terms have a greatest common factor? What can I factor out of these two terms? What are they both divisible by? Five. Now, because it starts with a negative, let's factor out the negative five, okay? So this would be y equals negative five. What am I left with in brackets? If I'm dividing everything by negative five... What am I left with? What's negative 5x squared divided by negative 5? x squared, right? What's positive 20 divided by negative 5? Negative 4. Is that fully factored? y equals negative 5 bracket x squared minus 4. Is this done? Why not? Can I still factor something? What do you notice about this inside? What is that? What is this? It's a difference of squares, right? So we can still factor that. So I can do that, negative five, and then how do I factor this? What are the two things that multiply together to give us x squared? X times x. What are two things that multiply together to give us four? What's the square root of four? Two. What times what is a negative? Positive and a negative. So is that fully factored now? Yeah. But I want to know what are the x-intercepts. What are the x-intercepts equal to? Well, I have x plus 2 equals 0, and I have x minus 2 equals 0, right? You're always taking your factors and you're setting them equal to 0 so that you can figure out what the x-intercept is. So Chelsea, what's the first x-intercept? Is what? x plus 2 equals 0. So what is the first x-intercept? What's the opposite of plus 2? Minus 2. And what's the other x-intercept? Plus 2. So those are the two x-intercepts. Negative 2, 0, and 2, 0 are the two x-intercepts. So this equation represents the height of a bridge, the height in meters and the width of the bridge in meters. We're trying to figure out what is the height. Next page, 12. Okay, so based on what we just learned, is it in the form y equals ax squared plus c? Yes or no? So what is gonna be the, uh, is it gonna be maximum or minimum? Look at the, how it opens. It opens how? Up or down? Down. Freak you're wearing. Okay, you're the only one participating. What is the vertex? It's going to be at 0, 18, correct? Okay. And we know that it opens down, so it's going to have a max height. So what is, so for A, it says determine the maximum height. What is it? What's the maximum height of this parabola? Can it go higher than this point? So 18 meters. Now we have to find the width. So what are you looking for? You're looking to find the x-intercept. So you're going to factor. You're going to do that on your own right now. You're going to factor that to find the x-intercepts. Divide everything by negative 0 
it will make it easier to factor. And you're left with w squared. What's 18 divided by negative 0 0.045? What do you get? When you divide these two, you get negative 400. Can you factor this now? Is that a difference of squares? So we have, how do I factor this difference of squares? What are the, what's the square root of w squared? W. What's the square root of 400? 20. So this is plus, minus, right? So where would the two x-intercepts be? If these are my two factors, w plus 20 is equal to 0, and w minus 20 is equal to 0, what are the two x-intercepts? What are the two x-intercepts? Oh, she's here with you. Negative 20 and positive 20. So what would the width of this bridge be? What's the distance from here to here? 20. What's the distance from here to here? Another 20. What's the width? 40 meters. Okay, so the width equals 40 meters.